प्रधान There are three important bills that are coming out: Anti-Terrorism, Truth and Reconciliation Commission, and Anti-Corruption. Minister of Justice has discussed this with the Chief Justice, who has asked that he don't bring all three bills together because it will be difficult for the Supreme Court to go into it, and there will be a shortage of lawyers. So he will work out a scheme. One uh, bill will come out first towards the end of April, and the other two by somewhere by June, all three bills will come. अभी तो दें तो ती है ना ओन एम विसंधुवाक आईएमएफ रामु ऐतुले दें तो एक एम पिटा यंत्र वह है प्रतिसंस्करण एक करंट ओन है लंका वो आपो वटेन वह है अफगानिस्तान एम पिटी पास है इपाक्षे दें पिलियार के नजीर ना मेक करंट ओन है के लिए The government has been able to generate hundred billion rupees out of the pay tax. However, on the other hand, the government losses almost one hundred thirteen to one hundred seventeen billion just because of the Sri Lanka airlines and uh, CV losses uh, almost one hundred seventeen billion in eight months, and CPC losses almost six uh, hundred billion in a year. Actually, so there is a great deal of need to reform all these state-owned enterprises, including the higher education and education sector. So what you have been reading. Uh, at the moment is the right path we have serious problems in maintaining and sustaining higher education model right now we want to have an appointment with the relevant officials and you perhaps uh, your excellency to discuss the current funding model for education or higher education and see the way out because we think it need to be reformed if we are to maintain state university system in this country if we don't do that we will probably collapse in time we have the capacity to attract foreign students to this country but we need to also be able to invest in improving the human resources the, the staff that we have because that is a long term investment that we do the government should not engage in operating business in competitive environment if it does it is a conflict of interest government should look into areas where there is need by the people and engage itself only if there is no private sector investment in those areas government can invest but should not engage in commercial activity smes i think this is one of the the greatest strengths we have and if we do get them to innovate and focus on exports and get into the value chain 